All right, Vashkor. So today we're going to be talking about the cleaner. All right, guys, if you love the content that we do here and you love these reviews, please, please use our supporter creator code. It means the world, guys. Every little bit helps. Okay, so uh, talking about the the commander loadout for this for this uh, particular weapon, pretty standard, honestly. It's just with, uh, I just went with a regular sniper loadout. We wanted to get the biggest shot possible, so we went with uh, sniper critical damage, really hoping on that crit with the 43% chance to crit uh, to get that big first hit, one shot kill power. Uh, so Rabbit Raider Jonesy was our natural choice. Blast in the past to boost our health. Saurian Hide for the extra armor. Saurian Might for the extra damage uh, based on your hit points. You had Quick Scope for the extra sniper damage. Ow My Eye for the extra headshot damage when you're hurt. And then Unearthly Treat for the extra damage to mist monsters uh, whenever you're hurt. So pretty solid. You know, we're really he leaning heavily into crippling ourselves. Uh, getting ourselves really low to get those damage boosts to miss monsters and headshots and then just basically hit them as hard as you can putting all your eggs into that one shot kill basket <laughs> could you uh just tell me uh what the passive is of this weapon what makes it different from other weapons okay so the Why passive on this is what makes this really really reds. special all right Vash, i want you to showcase killing that blaster down there first see what it's like can you one shot it yeah easy hey buddy look at me Hey, what's up? <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so we have a fridge husky over here, Vash. Can you see if you can shoot through the shield? Uh, he's not looking at me, so I have to shoot behind the shield. There okay. he goes. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh! Wait, did you shoot? Oh, you shoot through the hall. Dang. We gotta find another one. No, me. This is, this is not an shield. obliterator. What are you talking about? Okay. I don't, I don't know. know why how do you tell? Because it doesn't shoot, it's pierces. It's not only the obliterator shoots through everything. What what does the obliterator say on it to tell you that it can do that? Slow firing sniper rifle with high base damage, heavy kick, blah blah blah. Its shots pierce through walls and husks oh, alike. Okay. Okay. Can obliterate structures. Okay. The obliterator is a truly unique, truly unstoppable weapon. There is nothing like it. The closest thing is the neon, and the neon is just pitiful damage compared to this. What does piercing mean exactly? Piercing just means shoots through multiple enemies. Okay. Doesn't sh doesn't shoot through shields, doesn't shoot through um, riots, but yeah. just multiple husk bodies. Hey, there's a husky mix. Ah, you can I kiss him goodbye. The encampment. Hey, buddy. <laughs> One shot kill. Okay, so we've got the, the cleaner here, and we're going to showcase um, the fire rate and the reload time for this weapon. So if we go over to this weapon here, there's the stats, but here we go. This is what really, really matters. Hey, Vash. The fire rate on this weapon is 0.3, which is really, really, really slow. This is, the, I think, I think the slowest fire rate of any sniper rifle in the entire game. Uh, the reload is 3.0, meaning it takes three seconds to fire this thing. Pretty crazy, right? Okay, so here we go. When we're shooting this gun, this is the fastest that you can shoot this gun. Shoot, 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 shoot. There. There we go. That's how long it takes between shots. Pretty slow, right? <laughs> now, the thing is, this thing can only fire one shot every three seconds. So the fire rate really doesn't matter, right? It really comes down to the the reload rate. It takes three seconds to reload there, it therefore the fire rate is gonna be you know, it didn't matter what the fire rate was. Fire rate could be 12 shots per second, but with a three second reload and one bullet in the magazine, it's a bolt action, right? So you gotta reload every time, meaning three seconds per shot. Has it got really good range, at least? Let's see. Uh, this gun has, yeah, max 25,000 range. So I could hit oh. one of those Huskies, one shot kill in the head. All right, do it. Boom, dead. Oh, nice. Okay, so the perk loadout for this one here is pretty simple. Crit rate, double crit damage, and damage. Uh, the element can be any element you want. As you can see, you can pick between fire, nature, physical, or water. Doesn't matter. It's your choice. Uh, physical is probably your best bet, because then you can take out lobbers, flingers, your propane tanks, your ta like all, basically all the basic mist monsters except for smashers. They're all always always physical right plus the lobbers in the, in the propane are always physical so it, those targets are really really easily 
snipeable. They have a tendency to stay back. Uh, so it, they're prime targets for sniping. So the physical is a really good choice. But you can take element energy if you want to go and pick on uh, elemental huskies or elemental smashers. Uh, the choice is yours. But it's a pretty basic loadout. You could actually put uh, damage to missed monsters and bosses if you wanted to get an extra 6% damage against them specifically and that's actually a really viable choice i actually thought about doing that since uh typically when you're shooting at um most of the you know the regular huts you're, you're overkilling them like crazy your your damage is way more than you actually need against those targets so the only time you really need that extra like mega damage is against the mist monsters so definitely definitely uh mist monsters and bosses is a viable option for your loadout as well now the key points to this one as you can see uh the damage is pretty pretty high <laughs> the headshot damage is absolutely colossal the crit rate is actually five percent higher than normal this most most guns run with a uh run with a 10 percent base crit which boosts up to 38 percent this one actually starts with a base crit of 15. so it's a little higher than your average gun and it uh, comes out at 43 percent with only a single crit rate uh, 570 crit damage if you're running with a crit damage hero as your commander. Uh, what is your overall opinion of the weapon? Is it good? Is it bad? Why? And will you use it? <laughs> you garbage. <laughs> <laughs> this weapon sucks. This thing it's is a... And well, for one, it's a, a headshot only weapon. Which, you know... I'm sorry, but if you're playing Save the World and your weapon is a headshot only only weapon hey, if you have to hit a headshot for it to be a good weapon then it's not a good weapon because this game does not have good enough hit detection to be able to hit headshots like this thing i can't tell you how many times i've been smashers right in the face only to be like mm, nope no nope, no headshot like oh freak sakes so yeah, no, headshot weapons are not viable weapons at all. I would say never ever use any headshot weapon. And this is one of the worst defenders because this thing puts all your money into one shot. If you miss that shot, if you don't hit dead on the face, then this thing does embarrassing levels of damage. Um, if you do hit the face though, this thing gets a 2.5 multiplier and hits like a truck. Unfortunately, you can fire only once every three seconds, which is too slow. It's too slow. It's too slow to be viable. Like, this thing's not... I don't know. It's just, Look at I, I missed a shot. Oh, my God. Just give me an hour. I'll take another shot. <laughs> like, it's it's just... It's too punishing. It's too slow. Um, what kind of husks would you use it against? Look at that. I just body shot... I just body shot a husky and didn't kill him. After, like... Being like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 I didn't even do half, half health damage. And look at now I had to move because my, my position got hit by a gas. I've lost my 55% damage bonus. Oh and no. It, and oh, oh, look at that. I just shot a, a fridge yeah. and, and dinged his shield, did zero damage. Like this thing does no piercing. It pierces bodies, but it doesn't pierce objects. So like you can't even, you can't even, you know, reliably kill a, a, a riot shielder. It's just <laughs> like, oh, this, this, I just hit a blaster and did not kill the blaster. I'm sorry, but if I'm sitting here for three damn seconds, standing perfectly still for ten seconds at a time, if I can't bloody kill something in one shot with any body shot or whatever, this gun is garbage, garbage, trash. I don't think he likes it. <laughs> I, I, it's possible I despise this weapon. I mean, this this weapon though. Yeah, that I that, that You know what? You know what? I guarantee this like weapon's going to be a lot of fun though. with the with with some of the content creators who have the patience to actually um, get that perfect storm of, you know, reperking this to a physical weapon first off, um, and then lining up that headshot and boom and just nuking off a perfect crit because this thing, you know, this thing hits like a truck. As 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 a single shot to see those big numbers there are very, very few guns that are going to have the colossal numbers blasting off of the target like this one. This one's going to get some spectacular numbers. So it's going to make for some very fun highlight videos. But other than highlight videos, uh, are people actually going to use this gun? Hell no. Hell no. Nobody's going to use a gun that demands that you stand still for 10 seconds in order to be viable. Like, you just go use a Night Owl. If you want a weapon that's like, you know, a, a headshot you know destroyer 
you just go get that 80% damage, you know, load up that 80% damage, you can run around, you're not tied to a spot, you can go shoot something in the head and like nuke its brains right out. I mean, and it has all the weaknesses that this gun has, right? But without the debilitating... See what it's like against the miniboss, Vash. Miniboss? Oh, I'll never hit a miniboss. He's going to go into the base, yeah, what am I going to do? Put I can't. a slow field on that He's not going to stand still long enough for me to stand still for 10 seconds. Right? Yeah, you're right. Like, what am I going to do here? I'm probably going to well, die. He's still but now. But just yeah. trying to get into position. All right, one sec, guys. Ready? Okay, don't kill him, guys. I'm going to shoot him with my headshot. Just no, give, me trap anyway. give me 10 seconds. Give me 10 seconds. Do it. Okay, okay. Look, I did it, guys. It was all me. 100% me. 100%. 100%. <laughs> this is my kill shot. Therefore, I get credit for the whole thing, right? That's the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Proof. I win. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a fan of this weapon at all. I, I hate this weapon. This weapon is like, ugh. Not my friend. Oh wow, I'm getting rocked. Oh, I'm getting rocked. Oh, stupid gas. I mean, I'm in a spot now where I can stand still and get me. But I think. Oh, I think they can't. <laughs> Till they so see I'm, you. I, just, I guess it would only be good for like if you're trying to kill flingers when there's flinger waves. Again, you have and to hit the head. Standing up, you gotta hit the head though. Yeah, but they, they don't. Slingers don't like run around very quickly. Oh, they just come stand on, there man. and throw. That was a headshot. So I'm just sniping all the um, lobbers, and they can't reach me up here. So I yeah, guess you, you can do you that with. You, you can do that with. <laughs> the thing is, I could do this with an old Betsy that fires one shot per second instead of one shot oh, per three seconds. Right. Like, what's the point of this yeah. gun versus the old Betsy, sure. which is a thousand times better? Yeah. And doesn't have any st any stupid obligations of standing still or whatever. Like, like oh, yeah, it, I, can, I can use a bow as well. Even the, even the obliterator, <laughs> which is an objectively way weaker gun, can still one shot kill most of these things, but also has the yeah. added benefit of the headshot explosion. So you can kill a bunch of stuff with a single shot, right? I mean, it's pretty rare for a smasher to be walking around while you're standing so like up here. Look at that. Oh, I crit him. I crit him. You, you see crit that him? damage? Yeah, that I was a crit. That, yeah. See, and that was a crit. That wasn't me standing still for 10 seconds either. That was me stopping, yeah. taking my shot, boom, hit him in the face, and I just got the, the perfect headshot look, crit. There's another smasher over there. There we Let's go. See. Can you get that look one? at that you damage. Yeah, cool. Boom, there we go. Gotta aim a little low. Aim aim for his, like, his neck. That's where his head actually is. You gotta position yourself so high up and then... Um, if you, waiting around for a smasher or a blaster or something to actually use it against is takes so long, and you're gonna, already going to be using a bow or something else on everything else. Because I could just use a bow. Right, I could. You could there's other weapons you could use <laughs> that would have been way more effective. Way faster. Way good. faster. I mean, you could always <laughs> just pull up Farah, right? And yeah. take a bow and yeah. then hit like six targets <laughs> and do like six times the damage. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's just not it's just no. Just no. This is not a yeah, good it's just not a good I gun. Mean, and and some people are saying, yeah, what if you use a hero that, you know, reduces reload time or fire rate or something? But then, then you're, you're then you're, you're missing the monster crits. You're missing 225 percent yeah. crit damage. And the crit. Which is the only thing this thing is good for. It's it's you either crit or you don't get your big shot. Like that's the only thing good about this is that big yeah. shot, right? Right. Okay, so conclusion is yeah, garbage. Yeah, garbage. My <laughs> 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 Yeah, I can't see ever using this gun ever. It doesn't do enough damage. It just straight up, it's not enough damage. This thing would have yeah. to be... Um, the body shot damage would have to be so much higher for me to want to use this gun. Yeah. Because a lot of times headshots are not possible. Especially when you have a gun that you're, you're, you're so paranoid about missing, right? Yeah. Like you're like you're you're taking more than three seconds because you're like I can't miss this headshot, and then you do miss the headshot anyway because the guy's back is turned to you or whatever, and you're just hey, like God oh, damn it, whatever. <laughs> so um, could you just give a, a little outro here, saying thanks for watching. Let me know if if you've um they have any other opinions or they found a, a useful way of using the weapon to let us know in the comments. All um, right, guys, thanks so much yeah. for watching. 
if you found something that I missed, um, if there's a loadout or a use for this gun that I wasn't thinking of, please leave a comment down below and let me know. I would love to know if there's something that I'm overlooking with this gun. Because, uh, yeah, at face value, I just don't see it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.